Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be going over the Radza QB A7Z, which is a new tiny Raspberry Pi Zero form factor SBC by the company Radza. We'll be going over the specs as well as booting it with the available image from the time of this video, which is Radza OS, which I believe is uh, just a ported uh, bullseye. So hopefully it comes out all right. Radza has a few issues when it comes to drivers and uh, well, it's not as community built and driven as let's say the Raspberry Pi. So let's go over the specs and then boot it up. Now this form factor is very familiar because it's similar to the Raspberry Pi Zero. Except instead of micro USB ports, we have full-sized USB-C ports, which is uh, very welcome. The one thing that I cannot stand is that micro HDMI port right there, but you know, that's neither here nor there because I would much rather prefer a micro HDMI port as opposed to a mini HDMI port. So this micro HDMI port for the first time is very welcome. A UFL connector that attaches to a dual band antenna, which is very welcome because this new wave of dual band and tri band devices is very very welcome now the soc on the qb is the all winner a733 which has two arm cortex a76 processors with clock speeds of 2 gigahertz as well as six arm cortex a55 processors with clock speeds of 1.8 gigahertz as well as a risk 5 coprocessor with clock speeds of 200 megahertz now on the back is kind of the most important part of the spc and it's not for what you might think over here, we have a MEPI CSI four lane connector as well as an SD card slot for you to boot from. But the most important feature on here, and what I think is a nice example of what's to come with future SBCs coming in 2026, is this PCIe 3.0 ribbon cable connector. I, I think this is hands down the most important feature. Having a PCIe ribbon cable connector unlocks a lot more possibilities when using an SBC. Now from the time of this video, there is only Radza OS available on Radza's support page. So, well, you're very limited and that's kind of typical when it comes to different SBCs that are in the Raspberry Pi form factor, you're limited by OS's, but at the very least, let's hope that there are no driver issues. Now we're going to plug in our SD card onto the SD card slot on the QBA7Z, and of course, like every SBC that you need a micro HDMI port for, here we have our micro HDMI to full size HDMI adapter, because of course we do, because no matter how much the new innovation, how many times Orange Pi and Banana Pi and all these other Pi companies and Radza have shown us that you can put a full-size HDMI port on a goddamn SPC, you're still gonna need a full HDMI adapter, so let's go on to boot. Now from here, we're gonna take our micro HDMI port and plug it in to our micro HDMI because we need an adapter, because of course we do. And from here, we're going to grab our USB-C dock and we're going to plug in our USB-C dock. And we're also going to need a power supply cord, which we have right over here, which I'm going to carefully unplug right here and then plug it in here. And then from here, we're going to grab our HDMI and plug it in there. And we should have everything running smoothly. But since we're gonna need a keyboard, we're gonna grab our Logitech keyboard trackpad and we're gonna plug in our dongle to the QBA7Z and we're gonna pray that it boots. Judging by the flashing light, it looks like it is going to boot, but it's taking its sweet ass time. Nope, there we go. Everything is actually working according to plan. I believe the password is rock and the password is indeed rock. All right, well, one problem we're having is it, I guess, one gigabyte of RAM is not enough to have everything come out how it's supposed to. The mouse works actually pretty fine. Definitely doesn't want to uh, type. It's uh, choosing to be dumb. All right. Now, as we tour Radza OS, I do have to say it actually comes with a couple of applications that are worth a damn. You have Firefox as well as Chromium, which is fine. Multimedia. We have a uh, Parole Music Media Player. Okay. Juk Music and Dragon Player. Okay. 
Office, we have、uh, Ocular, K TefNet, K Organizer, K Mail, and K Address Book. Okay. As for settings, we have our setup, which is the RADS OS system configurator.、Uh, system. We have the Dolphin Manager, UX Term, UX Term for Unicode Environment, X Window Standard. Well, X Term is definitely, let's open X Term. And let's type in, let's scroll this down. That's,、uh, that is kind of disheartening. Okay, this is、uh, very disheartening. Discover, this is the application launcher. Let's go back, applications, system. Go to X term. Okay, so it's typing, but it's not typing anything at all. This is,、uh, this is very disheartening. So the OS is pretty clean. But when I type, I mean, something is definitely registering, it's just coming out as blank. So let's restart it and see if something else comes up. All right, so let's plug it back in. There we go, green light. Here we go, password. Is rock. Well, this time let's go to Radza. Password should be Radza. Password is Radza. All right, we got it back up. Nope. Something is definitely registering. Yeah, it's definitely registering. There's just nothing there. Okay, calculator works pretty decent. It's starting to get a little bit slow. With one gig of RAM, that's expected. Okay, the calculator works. Pretty good. Calculator actually is pretty decent. But that is not what we were here for. I just wanted to bench the thing. That is all I wanted to do. Well, UX term is exactly the same. Let's type in anything. It's definitely registering inputs. That is disheartening. We have a drop down terminal. Hell yes! We're in there. All right, let's download Sysbench and pray it actually installs properly. No, just trying to download Sysbench was a whole thing. And that's kind of expected with Radza SBCs and other Raspberry Pi clones. If this could run Armbian, I feel like it would run it beautifully. But, I mean, it doesn't. At the time of this video, you only have Tina OS, which is a third party image, and Radza OS. I feel like in time, it might get better. As it stands, from the time of this video,、uh, there's some growing pains. One gig of RAM runs it okay, but I feel like with eight gigs of RAM, it would be phenomenal. Now, a lot of Radza SBCs are really maxed out in their specs and are pretty decent SBCs, but they have issues. Now, Radza doesn't have the full community support as, let's say, Raspberry Pi, so this is expected. It's a decent SBC. There are some issues, and I feel like it'll get better over time. But if you do grab one of these, expect to、uh, encounter some headache. So, as I was recording, I wanted to check if other content creators like Platama Tinkers have gone over the QBA7Z. And he has. Luckily, I'm not the only one going through the same issues. If you guys want a link to his video, I've linked it down below. And he's.、Uh, Ranked it pretty generously. We hope you liked this video. Please drop us a like and maybe comment and maybe subscribe. It's totally up to you. We go over different variations of tech daily in our YouTube shorts every single day. And, well, it gets fun. We'll see you next time.